This poem is called The Bristol Plaza Hotel, Wildwood. From the fifth floor balcony of the Bristol Plaza Hotel, I watch families on the boardwalk, parents in flip-flops and tank tops, kids on invisible leashes running up and down the steps to the sand in that delirium of summer when memory and history have just begun. And what would it have been like to have had children, to unpack bathing caps and board games, cough syrup and calamine, to wrap bologna sandwiches in waxed paper and buy peaches from the produce truck parked on the street between the hotel and the dunes. And look at us, how happy we were, positioning the blanket as carefully as a communion cloth, placing a sandal at each corner, the Atlantic behind us ready to roll, and the kids running into the waves with joyful terror, and I, exalted by love, carry them aloft out of the sea. And when the sun gets low in the sky, we pick up the sandwich wrappers, sweatshirts and checkers, shake out the blanket, pack the towels and tubes, and then we trek to the shower at the bottom of the bleached cedar steps and wash the sand from our feet as the sea behind us stops swirling. And when it's nearly dark and the moon up over the Ferris wheel is almost too big for the eye to bear, we go to the boardwalk and take our place among the generations. And I hold the hands of my children and lead them to the ring toss and the ski ball and to the mechanical claw that descends in somnolence from the ceiling of the glass tank to hover above the hill of trinkets and the arthritic metal fingers open and grab onto a rubber spider, a skull ring, or a capsule containing a pink plastic seahorse. And the claw lifts the prize as if it were Venetian glass and drops it down the chute into the frantic hands of my children who plead for more tokens while the life-sized gypsy turbaned and bejeweled watches in malice from her lacquered ticket booth. And I lift my kids up onto the carousel horses where they sit enraptured by the leather reins and the lunatic eye of the horse looking backwards. And I live to glimpse their faces and fluorescent hair as they ride by, rising and falling to the old world organ. And I will not be dreaming this or thinking the way I always think in dark conjecture. Mm -hmm.